Hello! I now also got an EOS skill and I thought I'd also do a commentary for that one. However, I'm only talking about the EOS specific stuff, so if you want to learn more about Unit Strand, then check out my NCM or LCM commentary videos. To get the skill, I formed a static with friends and players from the Void Launch Discord server, and it took us roughly 60 pulls over 9 hours to get the achievement. We are using Unit Strat with CS portals. However, starting at 50%, you have to deal with triple greens in EOS, half of which we solve with the Anchor Prior 1 Prior 2 strat, and the other half we just rebound. In our comp, we have one subgroup with a Heal Quickness Chronomancer and a Heal Alacrity Tempest, and we have another subgroup with me on Heal Alacrity Scourge, a Condi Quickness Herald, and a DPS Tempest with Rebound. Everyone else just plays Condi also, since that's the favorite class for unit strat. The Chrono and Tempest can delete orbs using their blink, and the Tempest also brings super speed to help delete some more orbs or to get to certain positions faster. So how does orb deletion work? Whenever you touch an orb to collect it and then touch another orb like at most one second or so after, the second orb just disappears completely. And this can be done by blinking to the second orb or by dashing or also just walking through it. When going for EOS, you just play normally until the second split and have all three healers collect in both splits. And then in the second split, the stack kills the regret embodiment again. So what changes here is that we now have to deal with Empowered Gluttony, and that means there's five orbs instead of three for each collection, and that the stacks also last three minutes instead of only one. With our phasing, all stacks from the first Empowered collection after 50% will be gone when it's important for sub 10%, so up until then everyone can just collect freely. And for the remaining collections, people have to be aware of their stacks, so that we don't end up with uh, squishy DPS players on like 5 or 6 plus stacks for the Chrono Portal sub 10%. The second change in EOS is that we have to deal with Empowered Regret, so instead of having only one green where 5 players are needed to succeed, we now have 3 greens which require 3 players each. And we've got 3 greens that we have to solve without rebound. For those, we split up in three stacks with one healer as an anchor, so they never move and we always have a healer on each screen. And we have one DPS player who's a flex player and tries to make up for mistakes. And shortly before each no rebound green, we pre-stack into those three stacks. The prior one player of each stack has to move the most. Um, they move to a stack with multiple greens if there's no green on their stack. And if there's multiple greens on their stack and they have one of it, they move to a stack without a green. And then the prior two player moves only if they and their anchor have green to a stack without a green. You can find links to a green practice Google Doc and the standard unit thread and also the Void Launch Discord server in the description below. Then how does rebounding greens work? Everyone who's hit by three greens is killed instantly and everyone hit, who's hit by two greens gets downed. And when having less than three players in empowered greens, everyone will get downed. But also in addition, um, the boss gets five empowered stacks. So what we want to do is split the greens in a two green stack and a one green stack and then use rebound to prevent players from getting downed. And due to its cooldown, we can only use rebound basically on every second green. And for those, we split up in the subgroups. And since I'm the single healer in my subgroup, and area is wasted if applied before rebound triggers, we aim to only have one green on my stack and two green on the double healer subgroup. Alright, and now to the actual commentary. This first one is a rebound green, so only one green on my stack and the other subgroup has two. And then we just do normal unit stuff, so I use my portal for rage, we wait until rage is over, then take it back and walk around the wall. After we finish walking, we get the first big collection. And for this one, as I already said, you can just collect freely, those stacks will be gone when it gets important sub 10%. And I help delete orbs by walking through them quickly. For a square drop, we form a line like in NCM, 
by having the midi DPS in front, the vert stack in the middle and me behind the stack, and the healers with blink at the far end of the line. And at the time of recording, Scourge does still have its downstate pull in F4, so I stay close to the stack, no other healers can get back to the stack quickly via blink. In this run, one of our vets actually dodged early, but we can just stack next to it, so it's fine. And next is the first triple green that we have to solve without rebound, so we pre-stack and we're lucky no movement is required. I did not manage to jump the wall without getting boon strict, and then also didn't reapply boons properly. I should have delayed my F5 and then used torch 5 faster. And now we have the second rebound green, so my subgroup runs in front and we stack two greens on the other subgroup. Even though it was close, we managed to do that and then heal everyone back up for the bad collection. And for this, I tried to collect orbs that are in the rage AoE and then dash out. And sadly in this pool, I was the only one um, who did that and no one else was quick enough to get the orb after rage. So Sirius got some empowered stacks, but we're still only on four stacks, so it's still fine. And now again, standard unit stuff. I brought us out of rage, the chrono pre-places their portal and then we do the next collection. I tried to grab lots of orbs here since I'm a healer and then we take the chrono portal quickly. For the first puddles on T-Drop, we spread out nicely to not get down players. And then we pre-stack for the second green that we have to solve without rebound. And I also use my healing skill here, as usually we're quite low on this point. And as soon as the green is over, I use my portal and then get back in line. Here, we only have the Tempest and me in front, and then a Vert and Herald stack and the Blink healers at the back. After the dodge, we take the portal, heal everyone back up and walk around the boss before the embodiment wall spawns, just like an NCM. And then after the wall jump, we get the final empowered collection before 10%. And on this one, I'm actually able to delete two more orbs, which is nice for sub 10%. So we are at the orbs. At the end of the collection, we get our third rebound green. So again, we split in subgroups with only one green on me. He level one back up and take my portal out of rage. Then the Chrono will do a CS portal for the Malices. So as soon as Malice targets are selected, everyone else already spreads out to give each other space. And at this point, actually, we have to slow down DPS because we want to phase right after the puddles when the green spawns so that we don't get some rogue gluttony orbs. For CC, sadly, my golem died to our rebound green and I needed a fort to pull someone, so I had less CC, but it was still fine. And now again, standard unit stuff. Um, the temple stacks with me and the blink healers just go somewhere else and then blink over. We get a down player here, so I pull them and then stay to rest them up, which is fine, since I survived the wall and we still have two healers on the stack. And the next green we actually want to solve without rebound, but uh, our pre-stack isn't clean. So we get down players, but we manage to rest everyone back up and stabilize and can just continue normally. And now I'm chosen for Malice, so I wait until the next smash before taking the portal and then provide barrier. And due to the chaos at the previous screen, I didn't have Serpent Siphon up to provide Aegis here, but the Virtuosos used Sword 4 to block it, so it was fine. And now I use my Scourge portal to get us around the embodiment and provide some barrier. Though I did aim it too close to the boss and we have to back paddle for the final rebound green. And after that we heal everyone back up and just finish the boss. So we were pretty lucky in this pull that we did not have to move for the no rebound greens before Temple Sand and that we managed to recover from the failed no rebound green. Uh, however, we did get some sub 1% tries before that too and having to solve less greens normally is the benefit when playing with rebound. So assuming Anit will stick to their balance patch preview, Scourge down state pull on F4 will be removed on October the 8th, so three days after our kill, which means that EOS will get a bit harder. I still wish good luck to everyone who's gonna do this. Maybe there'll be a different better strategy, but maybe some people will still use unit strat, in which case I hope this video is still helpful. So thanks for watching!